Birbal's trip to heaven. Characters in the play Narrator Birbal Emperor Akbar Barber Some ministers Soldier Scene 1 Curtain rises Emperor Akbar is sitting in his palace. Narita is standing on one side. The barber enters. Birbal is Emperor Akbar's most favorite minister. The other ministers in Akbar's court are always jealous of Birbal. They devise plans to get rid of Birbal. They know being the emperor's favorite has its own rewards. Emperor Akbar's barber is also not fond of Birbal. One day, while trimming the emperor's hair, Your Majesty, last night I dreamt about your father. Really? Did he say anything to you? Yes, Your Majesty. He is very happy in heaven. But sometimes he feels something is missing. Missing? In heaven? What is it? He said there is no witty person in heaven to amuse him and keep him company. How can I help in that? Should I send someone to keep my father company? But who could it be? Yes, sir, that is a very good idea. And no one can be wittier than Birbal in the entire kingdom or the neighboring countries. Emperor Akbar immediately understands what the barber is up to. But he has full faith in Birbal's wisdom and hence goes along with the barber's plan. You are right. I will send Birbal to keep my father company. Call Birbal to the court. Smilingly to himself. The only way to reach heaven is after death. Curtain falls. Scene 2 Curtain rises, court scene, Akbar is sitting on his throne, ministers and courtiers are sitting in their places. Narita is standing on one side, Birbal enters. Birbal, I think you love me enough to make any sacrifice for my sake. That's absolutely right. Your Majesty, then I would like you to go to heaven to keep my dear father company. Birbal understands that someone is planning to get rid of him. Your Majesty, it would be an honor to give your father company. However, can I request a few days to prepare? But your father, your majesty, he is so bored and sad and... Silence! Birbal, you are doing me a great favor. Of course you should prepare. I will give you a week to prepare. Rolls his eyes and speaks quietly. A week? Curtain falls. Scene 3 Curtain rises. Birbal at his home. Narita is standing on one side. To himself, I need to think of a plan to save my life. Idea Birbal digs a ditch near his house for his grave. From this ditch, he digs a tunnel 
that opens under the floor of his bedroom. Then he returns to meet the emperor. Curtain falls. Scene 4 Curtain rises. Court scene Your Majesty, I am ready to go to heaven. But I have two last wishes. You are doing me a big favor, Birbal. I will grant you all your wishes without a delay. Tell me your wishes. Your Majesty, I would like to be buried alive so that I can reach heaven alive and entertain your father. And I would like the burial spot to be near my house. So on the chosen date, Birbal is buried alive in a spot near his house. The barber is very happy. That his plan to get rid of Birbal has worked. Once inside the grave, Birbal crawls through the tunnel and reaches his bedroom. He hides there for six months. While hiding, he investigates and finds out that the barber had planned to get rid of him. After six months, with an overgrown beard and shabby hair, he goes to meet the emperor. Curtain Falls Scene 5 Court Scene When Birbal reaches the court, he is happy to see the barber present there. Emperor Akbar is surprised to see Birbal. Birbal? Is that you? How did you get here? Did my father send you back? Or did he need anything? Your Majesty, your father does not need anything else. He is very happy with my services and gave me special permission to visit you and my family. He will call me again if he wants me to visit him again. Did he send any message? Is he comfortable in heaven? He is very comfortable. There is only one problem though. There is no barber in heaven. See, I too have an overgrown beard and shabby hair. So, he asked if you could send your own barber to him. Akbar laughs loudly, happy that Birbal has caught the barber in his plan. He rewards Birbal suitably and sentences the barber to life imprisonment.